Not very often I get the chance to sit down and work on something at work and make a video about it, but I figure that some people might like to see something like this. Something brand new. I thought that was kind of amusing. Windows 11 downgrade. Well, I won't disagree with that. I find it funny that this is what comprises a user manual these days. Like, what's this nonsense? Connect it to power and turn it on. That's literally it. That's your user manual. And it gives you an overview of ports and things like that. But that's, that's, that's sad. Of course, your warranty information that nobody cares about. Until the computer breaks, and then you care about the warranty. I'm gonna get all this plastic unwrapped, and we can have a look at it. Microsoft Windows. And this is what the stickers look like now. Look at all those regulatory things. They only give you a manufacturing year. Wow. Of course, there's the tiny little cooling fan. Uh, not that it doesn't have more vents. You can see there's vents at the back. And I think that right there is like a SIM card slot. That'd be my guess. Manual probably says. See, this is one of the nice ones that doesn't do away with all the USB ports. So you still get your two USB. I guess they're not 3.0 anymore. They're something else. And that one's a charge port. Full set HDMI, Ethernet. I'm not a big fan of that. But I guess it's a solid compromise for a system that's as small as this. I have no idea what that is. We have Lockport. It's not Kensington, but and on the other side, there's your USB-C. There's your power supply input because the power supply uses USB-C vent, and I believe that is actually yes, that is for a smart card. You can open it. The view of the magic within. Giant oversized trackpad. It's a 14 inch display and a webcam with a privacy screen. I don't think it's got a charge. No, it's certainly not enough to actually work. I like them when they put the power switch on the actual laptop itself. It drives me nuts when they put it on the side. You can't actually find it. It's not a cell phone for crying out loud. Plug it in, should get a light on the front, which we did for a second, there it is again. Now we should be able to turn it on, all right, here we go. Back with keyboard, so first power up. They are rigging Windows 10, so that Windows 11 Pro downgrade thing that you saw, I guess kind of makes sense because it's not running 11, it's been downgraded, but it's just kind of a funny way to put it. So, not that there's anything really preventing these from running 11, they'll probably run 11 later, but for right now... Windows 10 is where it is, just because of networking and stuff, you know, you gotta have nothing has moved over to Windows 11 yet, oh crap, I'm gonna have to connect it to a network, probably could just skip that, but I might as well, because I'm gonna have to install updates and things. Important, you say. 
And just don't waste my time. Work our magic. This is a new setup. I haven't really seen this before under Windows. Please don't turn off your device. This is so childish. Like, just, that's... It's amazing just how childish this really is. I wanted something of an idea for how much crap I've got to work on. All those scopes over there need to move. I think there's 28. One more on the way. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of junk that's gonna need to gonna need to get dealt with. And I have no time for any of it. Congratulations on your new Dell purchase. I read all of that very carefully. It's on my laptop, so this is supposed to be a, a loan out machine. What happens if I do that? I don't want an account. I gotta remember what the password's supposed to be set to. Ah, eh, domain join. We're not gonna do join a domain, so I'll set all that up. Here's the part where I get to say what I would love to say to people who are needy. And want things done yesterday. No. No. Well, whatever. No. 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 Nope. Don't care. And that's that. So I'll get a desktop, I'll have to install all the programs, and I'll have to install the updates, and blah, 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 blah. Lots of extra work. Oh, look. Of course it does. Except we kind of ordered it without that for a reason. No. No. There we go. I don't think it takes very long. Because this is, you know, SSD and all that these days. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I didn't think it would take this long. Cool. So, just like that, we are in. We can go ahead and we can take a look. And... Take a look at specs. I have to change the system name and such like things, but, uh, yeah. If you wanted to know, that's what's in this. As far as the CPU is concerned. So, we take a look. Real tech audio, which is nice to see. It's a random integrated webcam. Samsung NVMe SSD, Intel video, Intel wireless, and of course Intel Ethernet. I think other than that, everything is pretty much generic for any laptop these days. Come on, right click. Take a look. It is a 1080p display, so I think it's more than enough for a 14-inch panel anyway. So, 
start to run updates, and then this thing will be done. And uh, that'll be that. So there's your little unboxing of sorts. The brand new Dell Latitude 5420, I think is what the model was. Yeah. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the vid.